Where'd you find that clip? Uh, that, I thought it was our first show. That was the pilot of our show. Well, yeah, because he's introducing himself. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. But that, but let me just say, I loved that show. Thanks. I watched that all the time. Yeah, it was great. It, it was, was sweet. It was, now, did you, did you feel that, too, when you started doing it, that you would love that show and it would be loved that much? Well, it, well it, you know, we knew we were doing something different because mm -hmm. there hadn't been a single girl on television before. And when we talked about doing it and said, you know, we'd love to do a show about a girl who's not the secretary of somebody or not the wife of or the daughter of, but is the one, is the somebody, you know, a girl who has a dream, who really wants something. And the network said, well, would anybody watch a thing like that? <laughs> I said, well, maybe. Yeah. Maybe there'd be somebody interested in a girl who wanted something. And so when it went on, we just held our breaths, you know. Well, maybe nobody would like it, you know, but, uh, but they did. And for me, it was a great confirmation because when I was graduating from college, my last year in college, I was a bridesmaid 17 times. Really? So Seriously? I thought everybody, yes, I had 17 useless dresses that I uh -huh. could wear. Right. And I thought, uh, you know, maybe I'm the only one that, you know, doesn't see marriage as the thing to do the minute you graduate. Right. You know? And so it was great for me to do that girl and see that there were like a lot of girls like me. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't the only one. So yeah, I, I, I loved the show. I, I thought I'm it glad. was great. Thanks. And, um, you know, I, I, first of all, uh, we've, we've talked on the phone a couple of times, and I know you a little bit, and I, you're married to, to Phil Donahue. I'm always calling you to ask you to do something. I know, and I never can. And <laughs> you I'm so, always do. You're well, very good. I've tried as much as I can. <laughs> For St. Jude Children's Research yes. Hospital, you've done wonderful things. Well, thank you. Um, so, but you're married to, to Phil Donahue. I, I guess everybody knows. And it's 24 years, is that? Yes, it's, yeah. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank um, you. I didn't see... And you and you met when you were doing we his. Deserve your applause. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you met when you were doing a show, and from yeah. what I heard, people could just see it happen right there. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if everybody who says they saw the show really saw it, because uh -huh. everybody comes up to me and says, "Oh, I saw that show." Uh, but it was. It was an astonishing thing. We just started flirting with each other, and I uh -huh. was going on to talk about you know the women's movement and being very brilliant and about all these things that I believed in. And then all of a sudden I started saying wonderfully feminist things like, oh, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Phil, you're just so hilarious, Phil. <laughs> I mean, I just turned to butter. Uh -huh. It was just really funny. And he was saying things to me like, so what kind of guys do you date exactly? I mean, are they very neurotic or not uh -huh. neurotic? Do they have a lot of money? I mean, do they work? Do you ever go out with guys who don't work? I mean, it was like, why is he asking me these kind of questions? He was, you know? he was testing you on the air. Yes, he was. Yeah. It was our first date. <laughs> it was like yeah. the first day. And now, 24 years later, what do you feel? What is the uh, what's the magic of, of of the lasting relationship? What is it? What is it? What do you find? As soon as I find this out, <laughs> uh, well, I think one thing that I've certainly learned is that you have to know how to fight. You mm -hmm. know, you have to know how to fight well. Mm -hmm. I'm a very good fighter. I'm half Italian, half Lebanese. We're born fighting. Really? Yeah. The yeah. Irish, few little Lebanese people. Um, <laughs> The Irish people are kind of darker, and they they hold it in. So I've uh, I've taught Phil how to fight. To fight right away. Yeah, to fight right away. Get it out. Let's get it over with. Yeah. You know, you're going to get there anyway, eventually. Yeah. So let's just cut the time in between. In and, instead of just holding on yeah. to it and exploding one yeah, day. Yeah, exactly. Or just holding it in so that it festers. Mm -hmm. You know, that's really something I learned. Another thing I learned took me about ten years to learn this is that. You don't have to fix everything uh, for your spouse, you know? When Phil would tell me a problem of his, I would say, okay, well, here's what you do. You call this guy, and then you do this, and you say it, and then you write this, and everything. It took me about 10 years to realize that all he wanted me to say was, oh, uh-huh, mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, I said, oh, I don't have to fix it? Wow, this is easy. All I have to do is listen? Fabulous. Yeah. You know, I didn't know that. Really? Yeah, because yeah. you think that you're supposed to fix it right. when somebody's hurting. That's right. Yeah. Let me fix it. All right. I don't have to. So, okay. Well, then, so we've learned a lot. L <laughs> to, to listen and fight. That's right. <laughs> All right. We, uh, a lot of people are going to last a lot longer now. <laughs> uh, we have to take a commercial. We'll be right back with more Marlo Thomas right after this. <laughs> back with Marlo Thomas. And that's a clip from uh, the movie Deceit. And it premieres tonight at 8 o'clock on Lifetime, yeah, right? Yeah, Deceit. Uh -huh. It, it looks uh, suspenseful. Yeah, it's a murder mystery. And that's William Devane playing my husband. He's such a great actor. And uh, he gets, uh, he's missing in the movie. And I'm uh, suspected of his murder. I've never done a murder mystery before. It's very exciting, very yeah. murky. We shot it up in New Zealand. It was very, very exciting. Oh, wow. That yeah. must have been beautiful. And it's, oh, gorgeous. Yeah. And we were there in November and December because we needed the summer because we were, a lot of the movie takes place on a boat. Uh-huh. 
But this is my first murder mystery. It's so much fun to be in something that has so many twists and turns and you don't know who did it. Yeah, don't tell us. I'm not. But did you do it? <laughs> you didn't do you it. You have to tune in tonight and see. Yeah. All on right. Lifetime. We'll watch tonight on Lifetime and yeah. see. Um, hey, did you see any hobbits while you were in New Zealand? No. No. Um, <laughs> Listen, um, I, I just want to mention St. Jude's Children's Hospital just re really quickly because you do so much good work yes. for them, and I know it's an important cause, and, and, uh, and every year you do. The, well, we do, and we did the book that you were in, The yes. Right Words at the Right yeah. Time, which is now out in paperback, and all the money goes to St. Jude. Yeah. And we have a contest. You know, the, the book that you were in was 106 famous people that I admired, and the new book is going to be about everyday people to write in and tell me their right words, and maybe they'll be one of the people that are oh, chosen to be in The Right Words at the Right Time. That's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. It is. So well, please write in. Oh, and thank you so much for being yes. here, and thank you for for uh, being such an inspiration when I was growing. I loved the show. I loved oh, watching you. you all the time. Thanks so much. Thanks, and uh, we'll be right back.